So we've already built out our generate token class. Now what we need to do is we need to intercept the token. And from there, we pretty much should be done. So let's just go ahead in here. And first thing that I am going to do is go into the actual security file that I have here. And I'm going to implement a JWT authentication filter. And just the way that it sounds, this is going to be one of our authentication filters or our security filters, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go into here, just going to call this JWT authentication filter. And what we're going to implement is we're going to extend this and we are going to implement a once per request filter. And by doing this, we need to implement the do filter internal. So do filter internal is a link in the security filter chain where before we actually get to the controllers, it's going to perform a check to see if there's actually a token within the header. header. <clears throat> and we need to go ahead and bring in our um, JWT generator. So JWT generator and token generator, just like this. And then here we have auto wired and then private customer user details. So we're going to bring in our custom user detail service. So custom user detail service. And I am going to generate just for, just to be official and do the, do things the way I guess they should be done and go down here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just going to generate a constructor and go ahead and auto wire this up. So going to auto wired. And within our uh, do filter internal, I am going to bring some of this down because this looks uh, kind of bad just to bring it down so it looks a little bit better. First thing that we need to do is we need to get the JWT from the request. So we're going to go here, we'll have token and get JWT from, get JWT from token. Uh, or from request, I should say, not the actual token. That doesn't make sense. So request, and this uh, this isn't an actual method. We need to implement this on our own. And to do that, I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say string get JWT from request, and we are going to pass in the HTTP servlet request response. So we're going to go request, and we'll have eat request. Then what I'm going to do is going. I'm going to have uh, some code in here that is going to get the token out of the header. So we'll go header token is equal to request and get the header. And all these methods are provided to us. And within the header, we're going to get the authorization authorization inside of the header. <clears throat> okay, next going to use string utils to go in and actually find the token. So it goes string utils as text. So as text, and we're going to pass in what it finds up above that piece of code that we have up there. And we'll also check if the uh, token starts with bear. So bear token dot starts with and bear space. Okay. And if it does, we are going to return the actual token. So go return substring. It's essentially going to search in the string for us. So say substring and bear token dot length. And we are going to return null if it does not ha have anything. Okay, so now that we've got that code it coded, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is go actually implement it right there. Then we're going to return. We're going to do the we're going to use substring again to actually validate the token. So we go string utils dot has text and token, and we're going to check let's see. Let's see here, going to check with the token generator. So we'll have token generator, and then we are going to validate the actual token just like this. Okay. 
So now that we've got our if statement build, so let's go ahead and get the username from the token. So get username, and remember, we already coded a lot of this stuff up already, so token generator dot get username from the JWT, then we're going to pass in our token. Okay. Then we're going to load the user that it is associated with the token. So we're gonna go here, so user <clears throat> details, and user details is equal to the custom user detail service dot load user by username. So load user by username, and we're going to get our username. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to authenticate it just like we did in the actual controller. So user password authentication token, authentication token is equal to new user password authentication token, and then we're going to pass in our user details. We're gonna have null right here because we don't need this. Let me see. Yeah, we don't need the uh, the credentials. Just need the authority. So user details um, dot get authorities. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over. So let me see. Uh, let's just start right here. I think this is a good place. Actually, that doesn't look that good. User details. I will just bring that over like that. I think that that looks decent. Okay. All right. Then we're going to set the details. So we go here. So we go authentication token dot set details. And within here, we're going to have new web authentication details source web authentication details source so build details and we're going to pass in our request okay so next part is we're going to use or utilize our security context so we're going to have security context folder we're going to have we're going to get the context then we're going to basically log the user in set the authentic set the authentication token so we're going to go here authentication token and our last part is we're going to have our filter chain and since it's a, a chain of responsibility pattern we're going to pass in our request and our response so that it can then reach the next part in the chain and so the whole entire idea of this is we've essentially built a chain of code we've built a security filter chain it's uh kind of simple once you think of once you you know, kind of get the idea and you see it down here. This is where the this is where the code's going to be passed on to the next part of the chain. So if that makes sense. So I'll go down here and essentially it's a form of middleware. Now we've already got pretty much everything built. What we need to do is we need to go into our um, filter chain and add it. So before, so add filter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this thing called add filter before and this is going to add it so that before it actually gets to the servlet, it will implement it. Go in here and go down. We're going to bring in the actual authentication filter down here below. So we'll go bean. So bean dot public JWT authentication filter, JWT authentication filter. And then we're going to return a new JWT authentication filter. So new JWT authentication filter looking good. So that, so then we can actually pass this into the filter, security filter chain. And this is going to be a type of username, password, authentication filter dot class. Okay, and um, doesn't look like we have any red squiggly lines except for here. Um, we also need to add a constructor or just one. Actually, this is probably a better scenario where we can get rid of this auto wired. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this auto wired and put it up above just right here. So I'm gonna go auto wired and auto wired right here just so that we don't have to deal with that constructor issue. and It'll automatically fix it. Okay, and red squiggly line went away. What we need to do now is we need to actually implement this in our controller. 
So we've already built everything, but we also need to remember that because our response is going to be different, we need to create an, a DTO so that when it returns, it will return the security filter. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna say auth response, response DTO. And within here, we're going to return our to uh, access token and we're gonna return our token type. So I'm going to go ahead up here, add a nice little data uh, annotation and we will say private string access token. And we'll say private string token type. Then we will have a constructor where we can pass in the actual access token. So we'll say public auth response DTO string access token. Then we are going to say this dot access token is equal to access token. That looks good. So now we can move on to our actual auth controller. And within the auth controller, <clears throat> we need to provide our token generator. So what I'm gonna do is bring this up here and I'm gonna say JWT token generator. So JWT token. You see how it's spelt. JWT generator, so JWT generator, and JWT generator. Bring that down and then bring it into our constructor. So JWT generator is equal to this dot JWT generator is equal to JWT generator. Gonna copy and paste that right here. Okay, so no red squiggly lines, so it looks like we're good to go. Now what we need to do is just add a pretty simple line of code and change it so that we're returning a different type of response. So I'm gonna call this auth response DTO. And I'm going to go down here below the security context holder. Go here, string token is equal to token provider. So token provider is equal to, or JWT uh, generator. So I'm gonna go JWT generator dot generate token. And that's supposed to be token. I don't know why it's called token. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back and change that really quick actually. So I'm gonna go into JWT generator, generate token like that and generate token. So now we pass in our authentication. Then what we want to do is create a new auth response instead of a string. So we'll say new auth response DTO and we'll pass in our token. And that should be pretty much it. So let's go ahead in here and I am going to test it. Okay, so everything seems to be working. I just forgot two things. First, you want to go into here and add beer, beer, um, so that when the token actually returns, it will create uh, a token type and it will return a token type so that you can see what type it is. Also, we want to have uh, a error fixed here in our auth entry point. So. Before I didn't have component and the component, not having the component made it so that one of the beans couldn't be found. So make sure that you have component in your auth entry point because that caused another error. And other than that, let's go ahead. I think this should be good to go. We should be ready to go after this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to register just another user. I'm gonna append a six on the end of it, just like this. So our user was registered successfully. Then I'm gonna to go to my login and I'm gonna go over here, go ahead, post it. And would you look at that? We now have our access token and we also have our token type. You can now go through and configure anything that you want to 
you now have implemented JWT. And in our next course, I'm going to be starting on unit test. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.